Hello everyone, we're back with The Boondocks. This is season two, episode six. The last time was the rap battle between Thugnificent and Grandad. So let's watch before we start. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss a video from us. And this series will be available uncut on our Patreon where we also have early access and other benefits and we also have a Discord. All the links will be in the description. Not alone. I know. <laughs> Damn. Oh, Lord. <laughs> He's still having dinner with them, though. What happened to me, God? What did I do to deserve this? Deceived. This is payback for what? What did I do to you? Tell me. Baby, I said, Lady. Nigga, you ain't no Denzel. Hell, you ain't even no flavor play. You ain't no Denzel. Hell, you ain't even no flavor play. <laughs> And stealing from desperate old men. Watch when you go to sleep. I bet she have a gang of niggas up in here to rob us. Mm. Mm. Or she crazy? Huh? Is that what you call really hood? Why don't you give her a chance? You ain't even met Why her. doesn't he, he date do. someone his age? A whole weekend with like another stranger. Older woman. It's a five hour drive. Mm. Unless they can't stand him, that's why he gotta go the younger route. I don't know. Usually older men be going for the young ones. So. Well, so good Okay. Oh, can just like her picture. So good to finally meet you. Right. No catfish in here. She look good. Hey guys, I'm Luna. I hope you don't mind me hanging out with you for the weekend. I'll try and stay out of your way, okay? Hanging out for the weekend. We just we I'm telling we you. barely meet right now. Crazy. Kind of dogs you have. I have one Dalmatian, two retrievers. Mm -hmm, that's nice. Oh, and fifteen wolves. Wolves. The way her eyes change. Fifteen wolves. <laughs> and so, um, <laughs> how long you been kickboxing? Well, I do a lot of Kick martial arts. Kickboxing. Well, not exactly kickboxing, but it's kind of similar. Oh, it's called White Lotus Kung Fu. What the fuck? So she can kick White ass. White Lotus. That's the deadliest style there is. Really? White Lotus? Is that like legit? Damn. Huey, you don't stand a chance. Did you say Kumite? Uh huh. The Kumite. <laughs> the sound effect. What's a Kumite? <laughs> oh my god. It's kind of like one of them all inclusive. Okay, this fit though? Like this. She looks cute. They cover room and food, everything. She a baddie though. That's one thing they got right. <laughs> the Oprah security guard <laughs> trained here too. Finish it. Oh, just by oh, her that's that Mortal Kombat type of finish. Yeah, it'd be so of gory. Hunter, Hunter, that one episode with Kilua taking that man's hot. <laughs> Hurry up! Thanks for inviting a killer kung fu wolf bitch to the crib, Granddad. You think I knew she was a killer kung fu wolf bitch? That's the point. You don't know her, and you invited her to the girl. house. You keep inviting these strange stranger girls. To the house. Because you think they're with the out. wrong head. Invite them somewhere public. Don't be bringing no strangers to the home. Oh my god. Oh, this is friendly? That's crazy. This is not, not how I thought the date would go. Damn. He could have died. I knew he didn't stand a chance. Ugh, he's just a child. Riley, get your guns out. At this point, get, get your friend up. What was his name? I forgot his name. That I, white man. At this point, a stick versus hands. Wait, come on. <laughs> oh, I was hoping I would catch you up in here with that white bitch. <laughs> the tracksuit on. Yeah, get it. <laughs> This is based off a true story. Oh, the she got nothing but brows and panties and he full commando. Oh, yeah, get him right there. This is very inspiring. <laughs> oh my god. Do you think it's gonna be weird now that I beat up his grandson? <laughs> Dude, why did I do that? Okay, let's hear the story one more time. Okay, so she's just very strong. So she she doesn't have any like ulterior motives, it seems like. She genuinely probably like this man. So he does something to her. But I need to fly out there immediately to support my family members. Uh, yeah. Good. If that don't work, we gonna have to shoot that bitch. I'm telling you. 
Somebody gonna come out with a gun, it's gonna be him. Self defense. You gotta shoot her. I'm a child of the birthday party. Why do you have so to I make up this whole tell. elaborate lie? Stupid me. She's I'm in your house. Some balloon. So Jay Z is gonna loan me some DM. Not Jay Z. You see, when you talk too much, you make it worse for yourself. Just keep it short and simple. Problem is, she knows where you live. Yep. Bye. Don't come back too soon. Maybe about 30 years, maybe. <laughs> when he's dead in 30 years. <laughs> she's gonna be like, why aren't you at the party? She's gonna be stalking him. Why aren't you in Cuba? And just so you Her know, other dates. I googled Fidel Castro's birthday. Oh no. It isn't until August 13th. Not the homegirl doing the Yui. fact check. Oh lord. 35 years old and she ain't married, then she must be nutty as squirrel shit. But everything else was so right. <laughs> She's single at 35? She Red come five. into the house and he not at the house. Rip, Riley, and Huey. What did I tell you? See, that's exactly why I don't have a man. Because all these niggas is gay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your competition is another man. Can I have? She can fuck him up though. I wouldn't mind. Sister too much. <laughs> oh, 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 is it that a surprise? That it's the girl from uh, I forgot her name, but she's the mom that from Everybody Hates Chris. That's who it is. I forgot her name though. I just want to have a friendly chat with your grandfather about honesty. No, Luna. I told you we should have shot that bitch. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> he don't know what he coming in. Oh, oh. not him seeing it. She's gone. You could have died. Maybe right this here. will teach him the dangers of online dating. Inviting people you don't even know to your house. I heard you tell your friend I was crazy. Is that what you think? You think I'm crazy? <laughs> why you wanted me to leave? Some guys are like, oh, I love a crazy girl until she said I acted crazy. Now you're fearing for your life. You got him, girl? Yeah, I got him. Now remember. None of this was your fault. This man took your weekend from Her you. friend is making it worse. She ain't got no accountability. Not you gotta kill him. Tom! Hey, Tom! The only lit up room and you ain't even noticed them banging on that window? Uh, it's just that I got an email from Huey this morning and it reads... <clears throat> oh, no. My granddad kicked a woman named Luna. No! <laughs> I knew it wasn't going to work out. Oh, period. He we already knew what Of course, he already on. knew. Um, blah, 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 blah. PPPS. Uh, be careful. She's very dangerous. Stupid. Oh, my God. That move, though. Goodness. <laughs> I hope he sent a mass email to everybody. She's a badass, though, I will say. What others? Who are these others? No, what social others? Is a very, very, very sad <laughs> Who story. are these others? <laughs> I was raised in a broken and abusive I remember household. this video. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? Boss Kenny Wu, my first love. Bitch, this chicken is cold. <laughs> after that, I had one terrible relationship after another. What the fuck? Bitch, this chicken is cold. Cook the chicken yourself, then. Bad or is she man. victimizing herself so she's changing up the story right now? A bad man after bad man. So that's why she took up the fighting style she did, so she could fight them. Defend herself? She needs a new friend, too. To love me. Damn. She needs therapy. <laughs> Never gonna get married. Right, Linda Cole, well control you. Blow myself up right now. <gasps> what the fuck? Where did that come no. from? Wait. Not him laying on his belly. I just realized. <laughs> Mr. Dubois. <laughs> you look soft. Take responsibility. Put the grenade away and go home. You're right. I should take responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Dubois is funny as hell. It's her friend that's the problem. And that was the day Ms. Well, Luna part decided of the to take responsibility for her own actions. That's why she always feels like a victim. He said, why isn't she leaving? <gasps> she doesn't. No, no way. Okay. 
Then that was the day Miss Luna Rip let her Luna. girlfriend talk her into blowing herself up instead of taking responsibility for her own action. So she ended up killing herself because she listened to her own girl. You can't blindly listen to them. Sad girl, if a man ever said that to me, I'll kill myself. I mean, you're a stronger woman than me. Hello? Hello? Because Luna had mental issues, mental health issues, and her homegirl was making it worse. Like, you can say it as a joke and be like, yeah, I'd, I'd unalive myself, but it's like, you're not being for real. Aisha. Aisha. Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. You, you instantly recognize it. I was like, it. I know it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so like, poor Luna, honestly, she'd been hurt by so many men before. Mm. She took up a hobby to, I guess, learn to defend herself, something to preoccupy herself with. She kept getting the crazy label thrown on her. She was venting to her homegirl. Homegirl was like, you get always called playing crazy the blame. enough, you start becoming crazy. Yeah, and then like the homegirl was like putting the blame on someone else, saying like, hey, you know, maybe you should get some help. Maybe you should, because it's not always gonna be someone else's fault. It's like why, like Granddad said, like why are you specifically dating these type of men, um, that are you know terrible to her. And her homegirl was just like, you're the, giving her that victim mentality. And even joking with, you know, I'd only lie myself if that was me and da 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 da. She was literally going through it, so she ended up actually doing it. Like, yeah, you gotta be careful with what you say around some people. Because you saying yeah. it as a jokey joke or like, you know, just kind of like a symbolic kind of thing. Because you can vent about your relationship problems to your friends and stuff, and obviously they're gonna defend you and take your side. Or you're not going to give the entire story, you know, to make yourself not look bad mm -hmm. in it. Just so that you can um, feel a lot better about, you know, justifying, like, leaving that person or staying with them and stuff like that. And that type of advice her friend was giving her was not good. It ended up costing her her life, which is honestly awful. But Luna, she is a baddie. She just has problems. Her happy. She She just had her problems. Granddad, you need to stop inviting random girlies to the house, please. This is, it doesn't matter just because she's a woman. You think she's not going to be a threat? Never know. Because sometimes, like Riley said, they're going to be working with other niggas and teaming up and robbing them. And this was actually a way worse scenario, honestly. But I just wish Luna was able to get the help that she needed so that she could have moved on and found someone better and younger. Because uh, personality, eh looks she got it if she got therapy she would have been perfect thank you so much for watching don't forget to like this video and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one bye